but I do want someone to answer the question directly. Answer me why come how you can keep your promise. I can I can listen to your reason, but don't tell me that you are a politician. That does not answer. So that is why I always try to urge the Chinese to come out to vote. And um, we do have a very <coughs> big problem among Chinese because um, we say that we have a political apathy about the uh, democratic system because in China, in Hong Kong, I myself I came from Hong Kong. In China and Hong Kong, or even in Taiwan, our democratic history is so 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 narrow, so so sorrow, I would say. Um, so short in history. We didn't have any democratic system until maybe in the fifties in not even fifties, I would say maybe in the eighties in, in Taiwan or in the early eighties in Hong Kong, not not the same time in China. So we don't know what is voting, what is election. You just only know that there are ten candidates for ten seats. Then that means they are all elected. So this is the problem in, among the Chinese. And I think we have to do a better job to educate the Chinese to come out to vote. But don't get me wrong, I, I am not in a position to encourage anyone must be, I mean Chinese must be in the, in the assembly or in the provincial parliament or in the, in the uh, federal parliament. So long as they listen to us, it's fine to me. I don't, I don't care whether it is a, a black or, or Chinese or Japanese or white or so whatever, it doesn't matter. So I, I, I have a very, I have a feeling that uh, sometimes immigrants like us, we try to place, we, we try to play the race cards too easily. So this is the, the reason, this is the, the thing that I think Chinese should think about that. So one one point I always try to ask Michael Chen, but I don't know, I know that he won't answer myself because uh, the Minister of Revenue, when Bob Ray was the premier, he didn't need that position. Why he create this position for a Chinese candidate, for a Chinese MPP? He just got elected only two days in the office, and he was appointed as the minister. And this minister will spend five million at least for one year. For what? I, have, I don't see any reason. So another thing is that when I talk about MMP, I have a quick question again. Why the Liberal government want to put the M referendum and the provincial election together? He should separate it, right? Because you have to tell all the people about this MMP or referendum. Now all the leaders, they only talk about their own record, they only talk about different problems. They don't talk about MMP. So when we go to the polling station, we don't know what is MMP for. And I talk to some Chinese, they don't even know there is the referendum. They only think that, oh, October 10th is to be elected like government. They don't know this issue at all. So I don't, I don't know why they put the two things together. One reason is that because of money. But then my question is that if we save the five million for Michael Chapman, <laughs> the MP can go to the referendum, right? So this is the time that we have to think about which one we should vote for. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, just give everybody uh, some statistics. Um, basically, according to Canada 2001, we have a five high trans populated area. It's stated by like Markham, Scarborough, Yukon, Scarborough, Hose River, Willow Dam, and Richmond Hill. And within these five major rights, we got Liberal, independence from Liberal, Conservative, NDP, Green Party, Family Coalition. Freedom Party and also uh, Ontario Libertarian and one individual. So it's about like 30 something candidates in that five rights. And for uh, the general purpose like that, um, we see that as an Alma media, basically we got emails from party from the Liberal and the PC, but not from any other part of party. So in terms of the year, we have uh, two I mean, Chinese television in Toronto. And then four daily newspaper, and the free weekly newspaper is over 15 mean, publications. And plus the web news website, and also web TV, the four, four web TVs, and also I think about three or four web news sites. They are all welcome any news and input from any party, any candidates. Right? So according to my experience, that the Liberal and the PC, they use us so much sometimes even on a bills level, but other parties are not using that much. So uh, so my advice is that I mean, 
use this as a free service, it's a, it's a, it's a channel to convey your good ideas, good issues to the community. Alright, if you, you don't use that chance, you miss your chance to win. Yeah. Um, so, and also that uh, this year we have about eight chance candidates from different parties. Right? It's strange that we got more candidates from family coalition party than the legal and the GC. <laughs> um, does, does that mean that, that we got uh, the point is that if we get more trans candidates, it will uh, make up a bit, uh, motivate trans people to look in the, the election. Right? They can have more people to go out to war. Right? What is that? It doesn't mean that they will go to Chinese. <laughs> so don't worry about that. But that is that uh, sometimes we have coalition like we have Chinese candidates, we tend to look at the issues, we tend to pay attention to the election. 